Hello, one of the new things is this hide all button which allows to hide all modifiers. While it is active, you can still choose which plant types should be visible after disabling it. Second thing are multi-select checkboxes next to modifier names. You can activate them one by one or use a dedicated button for batch selection. Multi-select allows to copy properties from active modifier to modifiers with marked checkboxes. It can be also used for duplicating or deleting multiple modifiers. With its help I can easily manage objects assigned to specific modifiers like emitters. For example, I can remove this plain emitter from all modifiers, so now only primitives serves as such object types. For barley it is a cylinder, for small grass it is a cone, and for clover leaves and flowers it is an ecosphere. When it comes to assigning objects between modifiers, there are two ways of doing that. Clicking on copy object button will copy objects from active modifier and add them to the objects in selected modifiers. As you can see barley and small grass appeared on the ecosphere, while they are still on the cylinder and on the cone. Clicking on replace objects button will replace objects in selected modifiers with objects in active modifier. And now barley and small grass appeared on the ecosphere, but are no longer on the cylinder and on the cone. Multi-select for objects works the same for emitters, occlusion objects and repulsion objects. I will remove this ecosphere from emitters objects and I will use the plane as an emitter. I also don't need those primitives anymore. If at least one modifier is selected besides the active one, you will notice copy and replace buttons in object fields. Also copy properties buttons in many tabs will be highlighted. If multi-select isn't active, those things will disappear. Now let's see how copying all properties within the panel works. If I will compare distribution settings in Clover with the same settings in Clover Flowers, there are some differences. After clicking copy settings button, Clover Flowers settings will have the same parameters as Clover Leaves. But I want to copy only some specific settings, so I will undo this. I'm interested in copying seed parameter, so the flowers will grow in the same places as Clover Leaves. To do that, I just click this parameter and press enter. And you can see that the flowers changed their localization. I will also change clamp distance for viewport and blur clamping parameters. Important thing to know is that copy button will copy all settings without exceptions. But when working with single parameters, changes made in color ramps will not be inherited automatically. To copy a color ramp you need to press this button. This is the rule for every menu section which have color ramps inside, for example color. Pressing copy button will copy all settings, but only numerical settings will be copied when working with single parameters. Color ramps needs to be copied with those buttons. It just so happens that I want to copy clover pattern color ramp to small grass. I will just open another INS grass menu in other window to make it easier to manage. So you can see that small grass color ramp is entirely white, what means that this plant type is evenly scattered everywhere. I will just increase viewport display amount to show the effect better. So I make clover the active modifier, select grass and copy color ramp. Now the grass is scattered where the clover grows, but I want to inverse it. To do this I will inverse values on the grass pattern color ramp. I don't need first stop. And I will change this handle value from 0 to 1 and the other one from 1 to 0. After this grass doesn't grow in clover areas anymore. I will just change few parameters on the grass. Now I use barley as an active modifier and select all remaining modifiers to show how useful multi-select is when used with selection tool like curve selection. So I select my curve and it affects all modifiers. I just change barley mode to subtract and now changes made within this tool affects all modifiers at once. Before you would have to select this curve and change other parameters separately for every modifier. So you can see how multi-select speeds up working with the add-on. Now I will change some color parameters on the grass and render this scene. Finished render shows how barley, one of two new plant types, looks like. In presets list you can see barley and the other plant type ripe barley in clumps version and regular version. I select regular ripe barley and add it to the scene. 
I have barley set up already, so I will use multi select to change its models to ripe barley. To do this I press copy settings button in LOD's menu section. I also turn off viewport and render visibility for unneeded modifier and render the scene. Ripe barley has more dry color and its grinds ears and leaves are bended towards the ground. That's all for this update, thank you for watching and goodbye.